Yo, I cannot believe we still have more to cover when it comes to this very next update. More revelations have come to the forefront of a potential confirmation about a secondary brawler coming out here and what family they're fitting into. More ideas as to what a different theme is going to be like here for this next update. A free hypercharge announcement, some other confirmations about maybe some changes to clubs, a lot of things. It's exciting. So we are starting this episode off before we get into the more speculative things that I'm feeling pretty dang good about here for this next update. We first need to get into some confirmed content coming out that was just announced at the point that I'm recording this video today, nine hours ago. First things first, a few things you need to know about the next update, some pre-warnings for us. So we're getting some really interesting stuff here. Number one, a smaller feature, but still very important to know. Frost Queen Amber, the most goaded epic skin up until this point, is going to be changed to a legendary skin here in the next update, which means we are no longer going to be able to purchase Frost Queen Amber with bling. Very, very important, and obviously it's just going to be a more expensive skin. So if you are a value pincher here in Brawl Stars, it might be in your best interest to try to pick this up before the next update comes out, especially if you have the bling to afford it, because it won't be purchasable with bling, and you'll technically be able to get this thing for free, a legendary skin. But with that in mind, moving along to the next important bullet point here, Hypercharged Unleash is no longer going to be a thing here in this next update. A very useful thing, I would say. I really enjoyed Hypercharged Unleash. It was really glitchy and stuff like that, but hey, it was a good way to get a free Hypercharger. But the way that this is changing here is it's now going to be easier to be able to get Hypercharges for players. As stated, it just says it's easier and faster to get new hypercharges. But then this next point, it says, and all new players will get a guaranteed Shelly hypercharge when reaching 1000 trophies. So if you create a new account, you'll be able to get a completely free hypercharge. Don't know if there's going to be any like compensation or anything like that. If you already have the Shelly hypercharge, we just don't have that info, but we'll have to wait and see for this next update. But probably the coolest and most interesting piece of info coming from this tweet here that doesn't happen very often before updates we have the best way to participate in our upcoming event is by being in a full and active club that's it see you all in the next brawl talk on april 20th what this event is i have no idea but if you are incentivized to be in a full club it's giving me you know mega pig club event vibes i don't know if they're like reworking club league whatever i doubt it's that big but it's something significant that it is important for you to be in an active club when the update drops so whatever that means i have no idea but it seems exciting and if we needed it i suppose we have confirmation that it's coming on April 20th. You already know your boy Ray's got that way in advance. Come on now. Brawl talks aren't that crazy difficult to predict or know when they're coming out, right? So yeah, all that's really, really exciting. But what is even more exciting is some recent findings or speculation about this next update that is possibly confirming a secondary brawler coming out. So in the most recent video that we had made here on the channel, we had discussed an Easter egg that almost got past us, almost. In it, we had discussed that there's a little bit more to this green egg, right? Having some importance, I think, having to do with a potential new brawler, or it could be a skin, right? Also for the memes, I saw a few comments saying that three rays is pretty jarring. Why not make it four, dude? What's up, rays? <laughs> But in it, we had discussed that this green egg being more important than what we thought in the beginning very well could be attached to the already speculation that we've been going off of this mythological castle courtyard dragons, all that fun jazz. And it might make sense for this to be attached to the castle courtyard trio, a duo that's been here in the game for a very long time. And I still think that this update, at least one of the themes is going to be very similar to this trio, the castle courtyard. And I got a feeling one of the two news brawlers is going to be fitting into this trio. But aside from that, thinking about all the different other possibilities that an egg might have, it also might make sense, and I saw a lot of you guys saying this in the comments of that most recent video, that possibly a third brawler coming to the Doug and Buzz trio would make sense too, having to deal with eggs. Now, I thought it was plausible at the time, but we also have some potential new evidence helping to support this as well. I had this absolute freaking 
Giga Chad legend pointed out to me, and I can't believe this photo got past me. But dude, I'm telling you guys, a lot of you guys end up helping me in these types of videos, and it really does help out a lot to get some good quality information out to the general population that watch my videos. So thank you guys for all the help. But quite some time ago, the Brawl Stars dev team ended up making a tweet here specifically on March 3rd, with it simply saying the end is coming, hashtag Ragnarok. I think this is to symbolize that Ragnarok is coming close to end, or is this when it was first starting? Either way, it, I don't think it's that important. <laughs> but what is important is what's going down in this photo here. We have two very key players that were in the Ragnarok theme, right? The cool Buzz skin that was available on the Brawl Pass and the Odin Cordelia skin, super, super cool skins. But you could argue that this whole setting is centralized around the Ragnarok theme, but <laughs> there's a very interesting detail in the bottom left-hand corner that no one's really <laughs> noticed. We have Doug here. Why the frick is Doug here? <laughs> I want to remind you all that Doug had nothing to do with the Ragnarok season. He didn't get a skin, even though he's dripped out in the kind of like Nordic attire here, right? With the horns and the cool jacket. But bro is just watching these two duke it out here with hot dogs. Now, I got a feeling just based on what the dev team likes to do here with Easter eggs, this is a very blaringly obvious one in my eyes as well. The only explanation I would say that Doug is here is that he has some significance in the form of Easter eggs or sneak peeks for this next update. And another detail that I failed to even think about when we are trying to speculate potential themes for this next update, seeing that we always get two in Brawl Talks, I think we are definitely going to have some sort of summer or beach theme as well. One of these two seasons is going to be the summer theme. And as you can see also in this photo, this fight looks like it's taking place on a beach or around it. We have a bucket and a shovel and a lifeguard stand over here. And so something very specifically tied to Buzz here, a life buoy. And seeing that Buzz is lifeguard, maybe we're seeing a second player here, not only Doug. He's not here, Buzz, but with the lifeguard stand here, you could argue that Buzz is also technically kind of associated with this photo along with Doug. So with this in mind, we have two very feasible themes and brothers that are impacted by these themes that could come out or be announced in this bro talk. Number one, the Castle Courtyard vibe. Ash and Grom very well could be getting a third brawler filling out that family, but not only that, we have a very high possibility that Doug and Buzz also could have their family filled out with a third brawler fitting into the family. I get so confused by this new format of the Brawl Talks announcing two seasons per Brawl Talk now with these last few. But if we take a look back at what went down last year, right? We had 11 months ago and technically the Brawl Talk that we are like lining up anniversary wise with this next one was the Bling update. But then in the very next Brawl Talk that we got, that was like the summer update where we had Doug announced, right? And the boxes coming back, the star drops. But each of these Brawl Talks were just announcing one season coming out. So with this new format, season 26 is more than likely going to be this Castle Courtyard theme one, right? The very next one after the Ragnarok, lasting from May 2nd until when it ends in like June. And if we line up the timelines of like the anniversaries that we're going along with, season 18 would match up with the season 26, right? And then season 19, the Enchanted Woods was the last year's summer update when Doug was released. So technically this Brawl Talk is going to be covering the season before the summer season and the summer season itself. So it makes a ton of sense that we'll get information about the brawler fitting into maybe the Castle Courtyard trio as well as a potential new brawler in the Doug and Buzz family. Lining up very nicely with the Easter eggs that we just discussed in this video here. Pretty dang exciting dude. But finally to wrap up this video here today I thought it'd be helpful before we transition into the biggest, juiciest update sneak peeks, which will be coming out on Friday. Be sure to stay tuned for that. We'll be covering all the information that we get that day one day for the Brawl Talk, the Brawl Talk thumbnail, and the Easter eggs. I thought it'd be helpful to go over basically what we have 100% confirmed or potentials, the best potentials to come out in this update. We're taking a look at CLB's tweet here 22 hours ago, very nicely put together the potentials that we've been talking about for a long time here 
here. We have some medieval stuff that we had discussed in length that has a potential to come out or be discussed in the Brawl Talk. We have like a hacker skin set that was also available on that survey skins that we've been discussing a ton. Don't forget about the Gene and Sandy skins from the Supercell May campaign some time ago that have a potential to come out in this update. And then we also once again have that Gene hypercharge and five other hyperchargers coming out in this update, at least five. And then Duels is coming back. And that's the final rogue call. And then we have, of course, the green egg that <laughs> has been infatuating. But yeah, man, that's just about all I got for you here in this episode today. It's fair to say this next update is going to be incredibly, incredibly exciting, especially if we're dealing with a potential brawler fitting into the castle courtyard trio and a theme that would represent that brawler. Seeing that that trio has been like a fan favorite for a very long time, I can't wait to see what a potential brawler would be in that theme. But now, if we're talking about the second brawler coming out in this update and the theme for that being the Doug and Buzz family that's next level hype if you ask me two really cool brawlers and trios if this does work out and that's the case can't wait to get more information once again this Friday the 19th with the Brawl Talk thumbnail breakdown as well as the Easter egg photo over on social medias that I will be covering so make sure to stay tuned but yeah we'll be talking super soon everyone take care see you bye bye